Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. You and I have a rendezvous with destiny. You know what time it is, so sit back and get ready for the Stafford Voice, your dose of conservative in a world of liberal. Three, two, one. How you doing? I am your host, Daniel Stafford, and you're listening to The Stafford Voice, where we are conservative in a world of liberal. Today, I want to talk to you about the fork in the road. But before we do that, I want to remind you there are many ways to listen. So however you're listening, set this channel as your favorite, whatever you have to do so you don't get left behind. If if there is some case where you aren't already following on social media, you can find me over on the Twitters at Stafford Voice. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on the Instagrams. We're on the Snapchats. We're on the YouTubes. Wherever you're at, all you got to do is search for the Stafford Voice. Or on Twitters, again, at Stafford Voice. You can also stay up to date with a couple of things going on over at the StaffordVoice.com. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, Life is a journey, not a destination. Then what about that fork in the road? We've all come to those junctions in life, but have you ever given any thought about which way to go? Or are you the type who comes to a fork in the road and takes it? Before we get started on this little rant, let's hear a word about our sponsors. Some crowdfunding sites are too liberal and keep more for themselves. Even worse, if they don't like you or someone gets offended, they'll cancel your campaign. But not at RWNJ Funding. They hold true to conservative and libertarian values. Plus, they won't cave to the PC crowd. More importantly, they believe in you. RWNJFunding.com. The right cause, the right values, done right. RWNJFunding.com. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Nothing will protect you quite like your sidearm, so why not give it the protection it deserves? Something as strong as the Second Amendment and stands the test of time, and better yet, made in the USA. A Rebel Road Tactical Custom Kydex Holster is that and more. Call now and place your order with Rebel Road Tactical at 682-217-4579. Again, 682-217-4579, or online at rebelroadtactical.com. Okay, I can't remember how many times in the last few years I've been sitting in church and someone brings up, whoever it is that's talking, brings up Alice in Wonderland. They always bring up the point in the story where Alice comes to a fork in the road and asks the cat which way to go. Now the cat responds by asking her where she's going. Alice's response, she says, I don't know. Well, the cat in turn responds back to her by saying, then it really doesn't matter which way you go. It's always a good starting point for many lessons. And in the larger picture of life, it's always about choosing good versus evil. There is no middle road. You can't pick the lesser of two evils because in the end, you're still choosing evil. Is that really what you're looking for here? Now, look, I don't want to get too off topic here, but over the weekend, this Alice in Wonderland story was told again as I watched the uh, LDS General Conference. As many of you know, I'm a Latter-day Saint or a Mormon, however you want to call it, and twice, two times out of the year, we have a what is called referred to as a General Conference, where we... We sit and and we go through some, we listen to some pretty intense and, and at times some hardcore teaching and sharing of some testimonies. Well, I don't know why, but this story always perks my ears up. 
And the story of Alice in Wonderland again came up today while listening to Glenn Beck's podcast. Um, I was told that I needed to... I was I was referred to by a very good friend of mine. Um, many of you know him, know him on Twitter. Um, I don't know why his handle is escaping me right now. Nevertheless, he he asked me to go out and listen to Glenn Beck's podcast, and Beck brought up the idea about how. Right now, neither the candidates or, for the most part, the voters really know where they're going. And he related it to flying on a plane. Think about this for just a second, because I want to expand on this just a little bit. If you go on vacation, you pick a destination and you plan accordingly. Like, last summer, my wife and I wanted to go to... um, Philadelphia, and we wanted to visit Washington, D.C. We wanted to go on a a bit of a history trek. We knew what our destination was, and then we planned on how to get there, what we were going to do, the places we were going to eat, what were some of the experiences we wanted to have along the way. But now, here's where things get tricky. When we think about voting politicians... We focus on the past. Look, I get it. We've spent quite a few shows in the past trying to explain just that, the past. The difference is this. While it's okay to look at the past, we use it only as a tool to help us plan on where we want to go. But again, where are we going? Are we going to utopia where everything is free and nobody has to work for anything? Because that's that place just doesn't exist. Sadly, Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, and, and their followers think it does. And that's where they want to go. They've picked their destination. What about the other side? So many people talk about the Reagan era. Guess what? That was in the past. That was in the 80s. We're not time travelers. Last I checked, I was not the doctor. Last I checked, I'm not Doc. I'm not McFly. We can't go back. Unfortunately, that's where many of us want to go. Reagan gave a speech called A Time for Choosing, and I've talked about this before many, many times. But that was then. We're at our own time for choosing. We're at a fork in the road. We have to decide where we want to go before we decide on how to get there and who will take us. But, once we decide on those things, we cannot falter. We must stay the course. Staying the course is difficult. And look, it requires a lot of discipline. Lots of it. That's something that's unheard of and so uncommon these days. But we cannot just let some wild card come in and try to adjust course. That would be detrimental. This reminds me of a talk I heard a few years ago where the the guy that was given the talk, his name was Dieter F. Uchtdorf. German guy. Um, And he was a he was a pilot. And a lot of this a lot of his talks have kind of he has related it to flying. Well, he talked about something very, very similar here. And he said, quote, In 1979, a large passenger jet with 257 people on board left New Zealand for a sightseeing flight to Antarctica and back. Unknown to the pilots, however, someone had modified the flight coordinates by a mere two degrees. This error placed the aircraft 28 miles to the east of where the pilots assumed they were. As they approached Antarctica, the pilots descended to a lower altitude to give the passengers a better look at the landscape. Although both were experienced pilots, 
neither had made this particular flight before, and they had no way of knowing that the incorrect coordinates had placed them directly in the path of Mount Erebus, an active volcano that rises from the frozen landscape to a height of more than 12,000 feet. As the pilots flew onward, the white of the snow and ice covering the volcano blended with the white of the clouds above, making it appear as though they were flying over flat ground. By the time the instruments sounded, the warning that the ground was rising fast toward them, it was too late. The airplane crashed into the side of the volcano, killing everyone on board. It was a terrible tragedy brought on by a minor error, a matter of only a few degrees. Unquote. Now, even when you think you know where you want to go, if you don't fully understand how to get there, what needs to be understood to get there and have the tools necessary to get you there a very small bump in the road can knock you off course by only a few degrees Soren Kierkegaard said life must be understood backward but it must be lived forward I, I'm pleading with you to decide on what you want the destination to be. Then, and only then, can you and should you decide on how to get there. We have a choice to make. Where do we want to go? We are at that fork in the road and we must choose. It is our time to choose right now what our destination will be. Because if we don't know what that destination is, we're wasting our time. I know what my destination is. I'm interested to know what you as a listener, what you as a voter want this destination to be because only then can we collectively work on agreeing on how to get there that's all I've got for now and God willing the Stafford Voice will be back next time around again you can follow me on Twitters at Stafford Voice look me up on Facebook Instagram Snapchat By the way, I'm having a lot of fun on Snapchats, typically on Friday nights. I will put the story together, and you basically get to go grocery shopping with me. I don't know how much fun that is, but nevertheless, find me over on Snapchat. If you haven't done so, jump over onto the YouTubes and um, click the little subscribe button over there, because... I have started doing a a video blog, I guess. I guess you call it a vlog, um, where every few days I um, put out a video of a couple of thoughts and share them with you. I'd love to see and hear what what your guys' feedback is. Um, so yeah, all you got to do, just search for The Stafford Voice pretty much wherever you're at. And... Again, I I want you to answer that question that I asked, that I asked you earlier. 
what do you want the destination to be and how do you think we should get there? Email your uh, comments or your questions to me uh, at thestaffordvoice at gmail.com. Again, my email is thestaffordvoice at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your time. And until next time, thanks and God bless.